So today I'm going to be showing you how to fix it if you download something like Optifine or Forge and it's an executable jar file but when you try to open it to be able to install it and add it to Minecraft you get this or something similar where you click it and it doesn't actually work it's not opening properly and a lot of the videos on YouTube say that you should download something called jarfix.exe which isn't even necessary um, so I wouldn't bother downloading it what you can do instead for my case I'm gonna read this and it says that it's looking for a Java folder in program files and then it looks for some other files and executes a command on that file and with that information I can go into the area it was suggesting to execute the command program files and then Java doesn't exist and that's my problem all I have to do is move Java into there alright and when I now try to download this everything works I can install it there we go installed successfully but for some people that might not be the solution so we're gonna move it back out and pretend that that did not work so if we go back we're back at square one doesn't work again so what you'll want to do is you're gonna want to click on this PC click search this PC and then type in Java w.exe and make sure that all subfolders is checked off so it's gonna look through every single file on your computer and look for Java w.exe and this is going to take forever for some people this could take hours depending on how many files you have how and how slow your computer is so ideally you should already know where java w.exe is or at least where java is so i've already run it here and i'm going to go ahead and right click one of the results and open the file location i'm going to paste this file location in the description because chances are this might be the same file location for you because i'm just using the java that came with minecraft I'm not downloading an extra one so go ahead and copy that and I'm gonna open up something like notepad and paste it in Then I'm gonna type backslash java w dot exe and I'll put a quotation mark at the end and the beginning again I'll leave this in the description So if you're wondering how would I find this without searching and if it's not here, well, all you have to do is you just have to find um, a folder called Java or a folder called JDK dash some numbers or JRE dash some numbers and then open up bin and that's that same thing here, bin. All right, so now we have the folder copied and pasted we're also going to want to go back to wherever we downloaded Optifine or Forge or whatever and copy this file location and then open up an app that comes with Windows called Command Prompt and we're going to type in CD which means change directory or change what folder is currently open in Command Prompt and paste in wherever the download was located now keep in mind that if it's just in download that's perfectly possible it doesn't need like a C colon or anything well I'd have to go back to home and then it'll work there we go um, <laughs> but that'll work fine so now we go into my downloads we have this file open and we're gonna go ahead and copy and paste this in and we're gonna see that no error occurs whereas if you type anything else that isn't a real command there will be an error so that means that this is actually a command that works that's great so what we're gonna do is type that in dash jar 
and then we're going to type in the file, which if you pay attention, that's basically what this is, the percent one being the file. I'm going to rename it just so that it's easier for me. And then I'm going to also note that in the properties, this is a .jar file. So I'm going to actually type in optifine.jar, not just optifine. And it works perfectly. I can install it and we're good to go. Now, of course, if I ever need to do this again, I'm going to have to run this whole command again. So that's unfortunate, but you're going to be able to download anything without having to download a uh, fixjar.exe, which is unnecessary. Now, if we go back to the root problem, the reason this happened was because Java was in the wrong folder for me. For you, that might not be the reason, and if you really care that much, you can download fixjar.exe if you plan to download more jar files and don't want to run into this issue ever again. Now what I'm going to do, just for the sake of demonstration, is show what happens if I don't include the .jar. It's unable to access, so you really need to include that, and then it'll be able to run. Um, but that's everything. Since I moved Java back into Program Files, this should once again work just by double-clicking. So hopefully that helped you out, and you don't need to download fixjar.exe.